very detailed. I mean, you can see it again, the dealer. It's just incredible. Their next uh, big trick they're going to do is Megatron. And again, it's going to have crazy articulation, lots of accessories, light up eyes, chest piece. Again, if you ask them, they'll, they'll even turn on the lights in the, in the control room for you. So if you go again to the next slide, you can see the range of articulation, the amount of details, you know, where you can turn on and off the power. It's not a switch, it's a cleverly hidden button. And it scales well with their other Optimus. And the next slide is a teaser for their uh, upcoming G1 Bumblebee. And then the next would be a teaser for uh, last night, uh, official product for next year in 2017. And now we'll move on to something different. Uh, DNA design. Uh, DNA uh, started off doing some really interesting upgrade kits. Uh, they started off with a good devastator that they're doing more for Fortress Maximus, articulated hands, uh, different guns, hip uh, pieces, and angle tilts. Uh, they're also doing their first standalone figures of Sandman. Uh, we actually had this sample in Toronto in the case, couldn't make it this year, or to this show, sorry, but it would be a fully articulated uh, version of Blood Year. Nice little tank mode, and again, it comes with different accessories, uh, you know, different faces, stuff like that. Scales well with other masterpiece style figures. Okay. He's a boss. Uh, again, known for their upgrade kits. They're starting out. Uh, they, they've done some in the past. The Trailbreaker kit, I just believe, came out. Uh, gets the shield and the squinty face. Go to the next slide. You'll see uh, the <laughs> untraceable pieces case. So a new head, chest, gun, and briefcase for Night Uh They also have a set coming out. Go to the next slide, please. Uh, the Iron Lady set. So more accessories for. The three generations of lots, and there's also a BPTS exclusive with different colors. Spiritual leadership set. Uh, this is a really nice set too. It turns it into a more uh, comic accurate version of Optimus Prime, and there is available for the, the white, the Big War Prime, and the uh, United Warriors version as well. Unleashed Fury. So they're doing an upgrade kit for the uh, Combiner Wars Megatron and even to further their, their kit as well. Yeah. More accessory angle tilts, better hands, yeah, hand axe. And they'll have a big kit to, uh, to make a conversion set for Nova Prime. They're still working on it, so it's weakened some of the designs, but it will be coming in. Giga Power, Giga Power. Uh, I've released these gigantic gigasaurs. Uh, we actually have uh, grass or in the case uh, out in the display area. Uh, lots of cool accessories, flame breath, light up swords, light up gun, uh, different face plates, red face, red head. There's the previous offer uh, as well. And then their next is going to be Gaunt Hunter. Uh, their version of Swoop. Nice and big, plug in lots of accessories, they'll have a light up. Weapons, like swords, scales well with their version of the dinosaurs. It includes a flight stand. You can look at how that looks uh, together. And there's just a render uh, that they set up for this. So you can see what it's going to look like, what colors they're going to choose for the final product. Spark Toys. Spark Toys uh, started off with Alpha Pack, it was their version of a war within Optimus Prime. They have a Megatron coming as well, and they've recently been showing off pictures of their uh, Grimlock as well. So you can see here, uh, it's based on the War Within design. Uh, so here's some in-hand pictures. Again, they couldn't send it, the prototype was just too fragile, it wouldn't have made it. But there's a lot of detail to it, it's a big figure. You can see, you can see like in behind the wings, there's turbines to help cool down, he's such a big guy. Uh, it's scaled really well with their Alpha Pack figure. Fantalk. Fantalk is a brand new company. They're going to be starting off doing the Monster Bots. So Megatooth. Uh, Megatooth is scheduled for a March release uh, next year. Again, again a, a masterpiece or a high-end chug style of figure. Phelan, again, he's scheduled for, I think, a June release sometime next year. Again, those are estimates. Maybe sooner, maybe later, but that's what they're here for. Flypro. Recently revealed. 
really nice way. And lots of, they, they want to have a lot of articulation. These are the, the, the figures that they grew up with, so they want them to match the newer figures of today. Pretty good update. Lots of articulation. And then uh, their fourth figure will be uh, Roadbuster as well. They're going for a, a comic book design for their Roadbuster. It's an early sample, an early pack uh, design, but we'll be seeing more of that. Okay, Looks like the dust might Back you. Back you. We first showed Back you two years ago uh, with their their version of Braun and Outback. Now they're getting closer to Grump and Slick. They have some uh, great resin photos. They're still tooling it, they're still working on some of the bugs. Lots of different accessories. Happy face, sad face. Skills well with their previous brawny figure. Like now all the figures, really. Furthermore that, even though these are 9 and 10, the next ones after that are Speed Bump and Lori, and they'll probably be out first. And you can see here the Speed Bump. Their version of Trailbreaker, lots of articulation. Looks really great with the brothers. Looks great for other figures as well. Lots of detail, lots of accessories. Very close to the old Toyota Hilux that the vehicle is based off of. There's Lori as well. And they're different enough that you can you can adjust the height. You can have a short, you know, stubby looking Lori. Maybe you can have a taller <laughs> All the accessories that come with a certain television episode. Just don't break that chair. Yeah. <laughs> I've been a one-sided ass kicking if you ask me. You know, all their designs are very similar. Uh, they, they have that cartoon feel and look to them. Bolt forms. Bolt forms are actually joining us here in uh, the dealer room. They're doing a live product. You can, you can try out their figures. Uh, their lady is the Dark Emperor. Triple changer from robot to gun to tank. Lots of different accessories. They want to emphasize a customizable option. They want you to have a gold chest or a clear piece or the original. So you can kind of modify it to how you like. You can make it a little bit more personal. More Nautilus? They're also going to be doing some SD uh, transformable codes. Nautilus? So stay tuned for more of that in the upcoming months. Perfect effect. Perfect. Start out doing. Um, Anyone who buys Combiner Wars probably has a handful of their sets. Hands and feet and guns and all the cool stuff. So they're doing a set for Fortress Maximus as well. Uh, they're reissuing their old uh, Master Sword to go with Fortress Maximus. And they're also doing uh, the, uh, DX, sorry, DX06 Beast Gorilla, which is their version of Optimal Optimus. Lots of cool features. Uh, better build quality, metallic painting. Uh, you won't have to parts form to uh, to transform it between, and it will have die cast. So it's going to be big. Lots of articulation in the hands, in the feet. Uh, good range to go with any Beast Wars fans. Even has a spark chamber. Different modes of flight to give it a little bit more of a streamlined look compared to what the toy actually looked like. It's a big fella. So I look forward to seeing more of this figure early next year. <coughs> Wonderful space sculpt. They got so much detail in that in that one area. So DX9, DX9 will be uh, going forth with. Uh, well, sorry, they just released Mitron, their version of Megatron. Uh, I believe these is actually available on the showroom floor as well. Uh, they're going to get in next to their D series. Hmm? See some of the accessories that come with them. So the D series um, start off with Hanzo, their version of Six Shot. But you can actually see it out in the dealer room as well. And you can see just um, uh, a rough idea of what the other bones look like. From there, we're going to go into the Warner Pocket series. Um, I love Legends figures. That's what we all do. Jam. So I love all these tiny little figures. So you can see Bumper. Uh, we actually have Bumper as a, in a, the prototype stage in the cases. We also have Quaker, and they're good looking. They're, they're very close to almost how the original Dino Bucks look. Ooh. Usurper and his buddies, Blue Bolt and Sky Shaker. Hail Hasbro. And their buddies, Rascal Ladder, Noisy Bragger, and Gallower. 
And you can see there uh, the Nine of Watch together. I believe uh, this one's called Skyer. And these are very similar to the samples that we actually have in the cases. There are little guns and little swords in there too. But it's the X9 until they'll come out with new ones that have the same name. Here's Skyer. They're very poseable. They are such small figures. Look at the articulation of the poseability of that Legends figure. Mm. <laughs> it goes well with their bulk. So next, they're also going to be doing something called Kaleidoscope, and they're going to go outside of Transformers. So anyone who's ever played Overwatch, we're not going to have a Bastion. That's Freeman. And he'll actually transform. He's got his turret mode, he's got his, well, now he has a Metal Slug type vehicle mode. And he'll come with, um, in a very close mode, he's got his little bird friend. Um, it's going to have some alloy parts in it as well, so anyone who really good that game. It's going to be that figure you're going to need to have. I don't, I don't play it, but I really want it. I think it's amazing. Unique Toys. Uh, Unique Toys is doing uh, minifigures as well. They're doing the Palm series, which are basically just I never played the last two figures. They released recently Tom and Jerry. They're amazing names. Uh, but, you know, they're very basic like masters, but they transform. They give you that feeling. And all the weapons are kind of storable in, in different modes. It was a well done little figure. Planet X. Uh, Planet X started off really strong with their uh, version of Omega Supreme and the Dinobots. Now they're going on to more Fall of Cybertron figures, Starscream. Um, Yay! Should be a moment there. They call him Boys. Yay! So he comes with his no rifles or sniper rifles. He comes with uh, a mace weapon. He comes with his crown of leadership. Very poseable, very uh, sleek looking, very arrogant looking, but they really touch. <laughs> and one of the figures that's already out there is Perceptor. Uh, he, Preceptor. He actually might be for sale at some of the booths. So this is based on the video game version of Perceptor, who was a heavy gunner in the game. Uh, he still has a makeshift microscope, but well, he's most mostly a tank in this series. I get lots of detail, his cyber rifle from the comics. There you can see his, uh, his tank mode. It's not like the original didn't have a tank mode, but a little more known for being a uh, microscope. Here's Jupiter, uh, their take on uh, Optimus Prime. Also have a, a, a pretty close to finish sample in the case as well. Lots of detail, lots of articulation. Matrix of leadership. Has a nice, uh, the path blaster I think it was called, the axe and the sword from the game as well. Lots of detail, even just like the thrusters, that it has that glowing, metallic look from the video game. And there you scale with their version of Grimlock. They will be doing a Trypticon. Uh, it will be a larger figure, uh, leader class. It will actually break into two pieces. It can transform as one, but it will actually have like, two small ships uh, as well for a little bit of extra play factor, and it will have a base mode as well. So they plan on showing more of this figure uh, next year as well. Let's see, there's the base mode. And it it's, was never shown in the video game, but they wanted to include that because of who the character. Iron Factory. Again, Iron Factory make very detailed Legends class or Legend size figures. You can see their Assured Knights. Um, those are actually open for sale. Amazing figures we've got. Miramasa, their version of Drift, and his counterpart, Miramasa. Uh, they will come as a two pack. Really interesting figures, very detailed. Uh, nice shiny chrome on the swords. Very poseable. Sturdy, too. Lord Scorpion. Uh, again, if you like the old Marvel comics, he has a very Marvel comic feel to him. He has a, the original toy gun and toy shield. Even the little headmaster, the, the helmet opens up and that little headmaster actually transforms. He's got a scorpion mold, he has a base mold as well. Uh, it, it's for such a small figure, it has so many options. Here you see two uh, earlier offerings of uh, Windblade and RC. Very cute figures, very, very. Uh, Manga feel to him, and here's his ultimate commander and Magnus trying to pick them up at a bar. Uh, failing miserably. 
they don't like him. He's being a murderer. He's getting caught victim of this. So, uh, that actually, that is their version of Alita 1. You go to the next slide. Alira, that will, this feeder will only be available if you pre-ordered the first batch of Ultimate Commander. It will be a gift that they're going to give to fans. So she comes with new weapons, new head sculpt, based off the uh, pink label. The cute cover. This is their version of Six Shot, we also have in the case as well. They, they've been working on the name, so there is no final name at the moment, but he comes with two swords, two guns, very poseable. He has all of his different modes, uh, very articulate for such a small figure. He can really uh, get a range of emotion. Why Wolf needs a sword, I don't know. There's his spell on Sunrail. Thankfully, I was worried he wouldn't be uh, out of the water. Joke. Flying <laughs> Wolf Mode. Sucking <laughs> And the Phase Sixers. Amazing. Again, a lot of detail, a lot of posability. Fans Toys, you guys heard of these guys? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> So they have uh, their versions of the Dinobots, they have very popular figures. Uh, their version of Grinder uh, we had in Toronto. He's almost finished, so stay tuned for that. He will come with different heads uh, for the existing uh, Iron Guy boss they have out to give it a different look. Uh, they were listening to fan feedback. Some people didn't like the faces, or a lot of fans didn't like the faces. So they're giving options, they're giving you uh, alternate play models. You can see all the, the accessories that will come with Grulak, crown, different jowls, different eyes for the dinosaur. They're going to have the version of Springer, Apache. He's still in the development stage. Uh, this figure should be available sometime uh, later next year. So I'll bring their version, of their take on Galvatron. Uh, so this is supposed to be out in what, next Galvatron. week? Very nice detail. That's not that big. Very accurate to how the, the railgun came and worked and looked. He has a coming. <laughs> they have their version of Blitzwing coming as well. Uh, and Lupus, so they're going to start their own Headmasters. Uh, very detailed, very cartoon accurate. If you ever watch the old Headmasters cartoon, he has a pointy kind of beak look that they decided to animate on the wolf. And he comes with a different face for uh, Tesla. And there's his accessory, transforming tail into a sword. Phoenix was a figure that a lot of fans have wanted for a long time. Uh, they, were, they spent years going through different design changes on his little figure. So you can see the, the resin model here. It's going to be huge. He's supposed to be like a big, massive figure. Science buddies for life. <laughs> and it won't parse for him. Oh. Boom, spin oh. yeah. So they're going to go into mini bots. Uh, he looks really good next to Master Bumble will be A lot of detail. Uh, they're actually including two different heads. Um, and you'll see that here as well. Different shapes. <laughs> Very nice. Coot! Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. About time. Really started. And it's got to be That's what I'm talking about. About time. Oh, yeah. How about, how about oh, that hot rod? Look at this thing. Pretty nice looking vehicle mode. The, 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 the weapons come out of the back. Okay. Next we have Terminus oh, Gigantus. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Big working base mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You can see that it's a big reveal for the face sculpt. Toy of the year, 3006. Oh. Alright, let's show them. Oh. Oh. So he towers over oh. the oh. oh. Can you do it? I got plenty of pictures. I got a fucking joke. A lot of detail on that face sculpt. A lot of fans are going to love that. 
Alright, I got it. 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 And Hamlin was almost finished. He comes with the other half of their gigantic double blade for the combiner. And he comes with lots of accessories too, his own guns, his own double blades. The very impressive looking Dinobot. Now again, it's a combiner. Some people like the idea of the Dinobot's combining, some don't. He gets the options, gives you a different flavor. This one looks wicked. You can see they're going to be doing uh, more IDW-inspired figures as well. Uh, Optimus Prime. Very nice comic book-inspired uh, look and feel to it. Transform Dreamwave. Uh, these are upgrade kits for uh, existing Combiner Wars figures. Uh, we have the Bruticus set out in the case as well as their Defense Orchid kit uh, set. Uh, <laughs> set out in the case. Uh, again, everything kind of transforms and works turn that compatible with both modes, or all modes, I should say, of the figures. It'll also be the one for Superion as well. So, just again, another option, another choice for fans. No. So, I, I have to totally go. Really not here to the park. Again, if anyone got constructed, it's massive. Beautiful figure. <laughs> they have one heads coming out recently for uh, very shortly. Uh, they're just uh, finishing up too late. They have their version of the cup as well. Finish it. He looks ornery. Very upset. Here, do me a favor. Yeah, nice streamlined vehicle mode. They're going to be doing their version of uh, Optimus Prime called the Ryan. <coughs> Come on. They have a version of Springer. They also have a version of uh, Jazz coming as well called Blues. <coughs> Delightful little Cosmos. Pop of guns. He's into it. Adorable. <laughs> we'll have a, a new version of RC as well. Close to uh, um, a design, but again, close to a badass comic book style with swords. And I have alt mode with the Mate Omega and everything. More options for Trail Breaker and Moist. A little closer to the toy design than it would be the animation design. Pretty cool looking figures. Generation toy, they, and, uh, again, they've had their own constructive cons. They have their own version of a, a legend-sized Megatron, Skull Tyrant, and then Megasaurus, which was their apology to fans for taking so long. Megasaurus. Their version of Jazz. Again, that is, and the, the paint on this thing is phenomenal. It's, it's nice pearl white. Uh, really makes the figure pop. So they're going to be doing, again, their own version of IDW uh, Prime and Megatron. So hopefully these figures don't take as long as the last figures. I mean, these will all have a lot of detail. I, I can't even look like the comic book characters on the page. Transformation is, again, uh, their take on the IDW stunted cars. So they want to make sure that these figures from that particular part of the comic really come to life. So I believe the first figure is actually uh, available for, for, for sale. I'm pretty sure I saw it in the, in the dealer as well. They have more figures coming soon. Garatron. Garatron is a, a newer company. They're going to start off with a, uh, a Thunderwing based heavily off Stormbreaker. Uh, it's almost ready to go. And again, that, that's also a figure in the, in the cabinet. And it's going to have uh, features, lots of articulation. Again, his, his Stormbreaker and Siege mode. 
We're also going to do Galaxy Demolisher, which is their version of the Beast Wars Neo Unicrop. I never saw a release. They're actually going to be doing two versions of this, of this figure. So you're going to have two different, completely different Unicron options. This is the first one. This is the one based on the actual Beast Wars toy. And they actually have a new one coming out that's set in front of us. It has all the same gimmicks that the original unreleased figure never got around to doing. They've tried to improve on those as well. He's a pretty big guy, big horse stat. He's a great size. Right. <coughs> there he's all lit up. And here you can see the, the newer version of the figure. So this is what they, they, they want, like an 86 version of Unicron for their own. So he has, I mean, he has the big cannon from, from Energy. Lots of detail. So if you need two more Unicrons in your collection, you're in luck. <laughs> Don't act like you want two more Unicrons. <laughs> and his little moon base buddy. TFC Toys. Uh, TFC got off to a slow start with some of their combiners, but the Hades figures have really started to shine through. Uh, they're aware of some of the issues uh, with uh, the wraps and stuff that they've been trying to do. Fixes and repairs for people as well. Pretty cool looking figure. They're also doing the C cons. Okay, this is uh, Manta Razor, version of C Mike. Okay, the phone. Cool. So, he'll have lots of accessories uh, guns and, and swords. He can turn into a fist, into a leg. He's got a weapon stand and a weapon mode. Cyberjaw, uh, he's already available uh, for fans. Uh, we also have a sample in the case as well. The whole gimmick behind the seed guns, if some people didn't know, is it was, it was a combiner, but there were also triple changers, and one, one member could also act as a gun. So they want to make sure that they have all those options for each of the members that could do it. <coughs> Big bite. We can go a little faster with these, but these are, are pretty normal. Their first release from the series. Iron Shell, the leader. Uh, very sturdy figure, very big. Uh, that's obviously the torso. And there you can see the just the how big and thick that torso will become. Of, I can't remember. I want to say Scott, but it's not. That's a lobster. I'm sure there's Bob and Yancey's out here. You see there the final combined mode. Very intimidating with the wire. They're going into the Trinity Force uh, for next year. That's their version of Road Caesar. Um, they're going to start off uh, with one of the light pieces. There, it is going to have a functioning brain master uh, to go with it. You see, it goes through the chest and it comes up through there. Alien attack. Uh, these were upgrade kits for some of the older uh, movie toys. Uh, it's still coming out. I know a lot of people. We're looking forward to this, um, even for the, the movie Megatron. Better arms. Even an upgrade kit for Ratchet. The Primo Vitalis kit. Um, this kit is really nice. Um, it takes a little bit of effort. You, know, you have to knock some pins in. Um, it's a little more involved, but it looks really, really good once it's on there. And you'll be able to see that kit in the, uh, in the case as well. x bots. Um, they're really pushing along with some, some new stuff. Uh, they have a new version of Omni. Uh, they improved a lot of like, old defects they had the last time. Uh, Elagos and Trenchian uh, is almost ready to go. We can see a uh, pretty close to the finish sample in the case. Abaddon is still coming. A lot of people were concerned that it wasn't going to happen, but it's still happening. Um, Dante, they have their prototype in the case. 
Um, they'll also have uh, their other versions as well. DaVinci, the master builder. And Tirador, the, uh, the target master. The Mac Ideas, uh, they're going to be doing their own version of Lyle Kaiser as well. If anyone's ever had um, their, uh, their figures in hand, they're just incredible. But it's a good looking, uh, bigger, detailed looking uh, Last my creations. Um, again, we had the Fearow Queen exclusive last year. Or sorry, uh, the last show in Toronto. Um, very popular set. To go with your Fearow Kings. Uh, Dominicus. So they're, they're a black version of, uh, of Nova or Nemesis Prime. Anubis, uh, one of the convention exclusives based on Death's Head. Tatanga, the version of Stranga. And we'll share a mold with Roadbuster. All of these figures right now, uh, we're very lucky to have them uh, at the Ages 3 and Up booth as well uh, to show everything the Toy Toy booth. A lot of detail. The version of World. Of course, it comes with a sword. And that will also share a, uh, a mold with their version of Obsidian. Carnifex finally released. I know a lot of people picked him up today. <coughs> Years of waiting, patiently waiting. Coulter. I like the DJD. He's also in the case. He's not too far out from release. More is their version. I've been another DJ. Wow. We saw it already. Let me see that. Let me see. And the impressive silhouette of the next figure. <laughs> Tyrant. <laughs> Sorry, I can't even say it. Tronus and Tyrantron. So, this actually will go between the old minor Megatron and the new Lost Light Megatron. So, we'll have interchangeable chess pieces and, and equipment. So you can see, yeah, good, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. So yeah, you see the uh, Perfection series. Uh, we had two different variants on our uh, exclusive uh, for Stealth Sphinx, along with uh, the other exclusives. Their version of Trailbreaker, oh, their at this point. Mm -hmm. Excellent, just amazing looking players. I encourage you, if you haven't seen them, please go check them in the booth. Their version of Heart Fire as well. <laughs> Adorable laser beef. This sample is actually out on display as well. Goes well with their their previous uh, release. They will be doing uh, that young thug up there eventually, and then they have their version of Springer. Hmm. Uh, yay! Options. It's a good looking figure. You should see more from that in the coming months. Fans Project, uh, Fans Project had their booths out there with uh, uh, Trionix and Dino Z. Uh, they have their Dino Bots. The Raptor Twins are here as well. Make Toys. Now, Make Toys, um, they have more remastered figures, more of yep. the original core remastered figures coming. They didn't even try the exclusive. You can see their version of uh, Galaxy Force or Cybertron start screen. Silverback. Yay. Their uh, triple changing horror con. You see your downbeat. So downbeat, uh, actually, if you guys go to the Chosen Prime booth, they have um, a ballot you can fill out and you can enter a chance to, uh, to go to a, a private experience tomorrow. There's two uh, time slots that you can win a chance 
uh, to be a part of. So I encourage you to go check that out. It's a wonderful figure, downbeat. Uh, Thunder Menace, their version of Jin Rai. A beefy looking figure. And finally, there's a striker in the wall. Where's, where's Matt? Matt? That's a figure I was so thank you very much everyone for coming out.